House Republicans are just as curious as the angle is, and they're demanding more than a dozen federal officials, including David Weiss, appear before multiple congressional committees for transcribed interviews. Now, one of those demanding interviews is Ways and Means, and that committee's chairman, Congressman Jason Smith, joins me now. Congressman, what's your first question for David Weiss? Well, I'll tell you, um, we have a lot of questions for David Weiss. That's why you um, see myself, Jim Jordan, and, and Jamie Comer has asked for them to come come in for a transcribed interview. Uh, Mr. Weiss is requested to go before the House Judiciary Committee. In fact, there's eight employees of the Department of Justice that have been asked to go before the Judiciary Committee. Two IRS employees are asked to go before the Ways and Means Committee, and two FBI agents are asked to go before the Oversight Committee. Uh, to get down to the bottom of what happened in the October 7th meeting, where Mr. Mr. Shapley, and along with the other whistleblower, has stated that Mr. Weiss directly said that he did not have the authority to bring charges that someone else above them did. That sounds like a first question to me. Well, Joe Biden claimed that um, today that it was just total independence, that he was not engaged in any meddling in any of this at all. This is on MSNBC. I, I made a commitment that I would not in any way interfere with the Justice Department who they prosecuted, if they prosecuted, how they proceeded. I've not spoken once, not one single time with the attorney general on any specific case, not once. Well, Congressman, he's basically saying if there was any malfeasance, don't look at me, look over at Garland's people. Lord, this is the same individual that said he knew zero about his son, Hunter Biden's business dealings. And we we presented documentation last Thursday in the Ways and Means Committee that came from the whistleblowers that showed the WhatsApp message from Hunter Biden to a Chinese business uh, associate saying that we want uh, to hear from you. And I'm setting setting right next to my father. Um, to see if you will respond to us accordingly. Give me a break. I can't believe that. We have seen numerous times through these whistleblowers, Laura, that the Justice Department, Biden's Justice Department, has delayed the investigation on Hunter Biden. In fact, they delayed it so much that, it, that the statute of limitations expired for the tax crimes of 2014 and 2015 <laughs> tax years. They also divulged information to Hunter Biden lawyers in order to basically let them know that they were coming in with the search warrant at a storage unit in Northern Virginia. And then we saw what the what happened to the prosecutor in Delaware is that they continued to deny his request to bring charges in Washington, D.C., in California. And they also denied his request of a special counsel. All right. Well, someone's lying here and you all have to find out. And then something has to be done. Action has to be taken. Congressman, we appreciate you. Thanks so much.